going on guys? As you can see beside me here, we've got a bunch of new parts for the Type R that are basically production ready. I'm really excited to go through these parts and show you guys what we have in store for the car. So let's check it out. All right, so in front of me, I have a full charge piping kit for the car. Uh, we have a front pipe for the car and we have our intercooler. And this intercooler is really exciting because it's basically the largest intercooler that we've ever produced. And it is about 30% larger than the FK8 intercooler, which is huge. Um, there's already a front pipe on the car. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. And we're gonna walk through a little bit of an install with this intercooler, see how it fits, see how it looks with the bumper on, and I'll take you guys with me. Um, the intercooler does need to come off a couple more times, so uh, I'm not gonna put the charge pipe kit on right now, but I will sort of walk you guys through the parts of the stock charge pipe system that we're replacing and how it's gonna benefit your car. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the charge pipe kit here. Um, and again, I'm just sort of talking about it here. Um, but the cold side of the charge piping kit on the Type R is the largest restriction. So what we're doing is we're bumping it up from two and a quarter inches to two and a half inches all the way back to the throttle body. And that starts with this cast piece here that replaces this uh, piece of plastic here. So this is a piece of plastic. It can be prone to thermal fatigue and possibly cracking in the future. Um, and on top of that, it necks down from the intercooler outlet to two and a quarter inches where it carries that all the way to all the way through back to the throttle body. So the eliminating the restriction in the charge pipe system starts with this really nice cast piece here. And we have the lower silicone and then the upper hard pipe and the throttle body coupler. And that's the whole cold side kit. And our hot side kit or the hot side is just this silicone tube, which replaces the factory unit. Um, we have our stepped silicone to make sure that the inner diameter is consistent throughout the whole kit. And yeah, that's our charge piping kit. Here we've got our front pipe next to a factory unit. Um, as you can see, the tubing is a lot beefier with ours. So we're doing three inch stainless steel, whereas the factory unit is a two and a quarter inch carbon steel. Um, and as you can see, this is a pretty similar uh, mounting hook design that we've been using in the past. We know that this is really robust, so it shouldn't, be, shouldn't have any issues with braking due to torquing. Um, and we also switched to the braided flex section style. It's a little bit higher quality, and again, a little bit less prone to failure over time. All right, now we are to the most fun part of the video, uh, the intercooler. So I'm gonna throw this on the car. We're gonna see what it looks like. We're gonna see what it looks like with the bumper on. Really excited for that. Um, something that's really cool about this intercooler is that it utilizes the factory O-rings and it utilizes the factory brackets. So the only thing that you get with the intercooler kit is your intercooler and these two pieces here. And what these are, are little sealing strips that mount to the inside of the bumper and create a press seal against the intercooler to channel as much air through the core as possible. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put those on and what the intercooler looks like on the car. We got the intercooler on the car. You can kind of see the guts of it, how it all works. Um, as you can see, this intercooler is basically as big as we could have possibly made it. I mean, literally, if we would have made the core any taller, the welds would hit on the bumper beam. It's as far forward as we possibly can have it, which is why we're using these rubber sealing strips against the bumper to act as an air dam. You can see our gorgeous billet end tanks. It overall, really happy with how the design came out. So I'm really looking forward to see both how the car performs and how it looks with that bumper on. So let's check that out. All right, so I've got the bumper here in front of the car. I'm ready to throw it on. Again, the intercooler's got to come back off the car, so I'm just gonna kind of toss the bumper on really quickly for mock-up purposes. Um, but let me show you guys where we're having the intercooler seal against. So the core basically comes right up to this face, which means that we are able to use these rubber sealing strips to mount right here on the bumper. You can see that the inside of them this has stainless steel so that it'll grip onto the plastic. 
and you basically just push it right on just like that. And then once you have the bumper on the car, this will seal against the intercooler core, channeling as much air as possible through the heat exchanger itself. So it's really exciting. Really looking forward to see how the thing performs. But first, let's see what it looks like. Oh, dude, that is gnarly. Look, it fills up the whole, the whole part of the bumper, the whole grill. That is sick. Dude, yeah. All right, and as you can see, the rubber sealing strip is right up against the core, squishing it just a little bit, so we're channeling all of that air directly through the core. I mean, it's, it's sensational, it really is. Cool. I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, I uh, don't really know what to say, but I'm really excited to see these things go into production. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting some test data on this. Hopefully we can get a track day together or something like that. Um, we are taking this car to Tail of the Dragon um, and it will have an intercooler on it. So that'll give us a lot of data. I don't know if we're gonna be driving it hard enough to heat soak the car, but we'll see. Yeah, so just a quick recap. Um, on the car currently, we have an intercooler and a front pipe, and we have a full charge pipe kit here. Um, we have a stage one kit, a stage one intake kit, and we have a titanium inlet kit on the way. Um, the last piece of the puzzle basically is, oh, we also have the flex fuel kit. The last piece of the puzzle is the high volume intake, which I believe you guys saw a couple snippets of the 3D printed air box in there. You can, can maybe see a little bit. That is basically where we're at with the Type R. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to keep an eye on our website for when some of this stuff becomes available actually for sale when we get a production batch rolling in. And uh, yeah, take it easy guys, enjoy your day.